2010 Toyota Tundra with some catalytic converters that the owner really wants to make sure do not get stolen. So we're gonna put a Miller Cat cat shield on here and it should be a piece of cake. Hey, what's up YouTube? Down the Fix It Man. Got another quick video here for you. Got another Miller Cat cat shield to do, and this is on the 2010 Toyota Tundra, the second gen, 2007 to 2021 is what this shield will fit. By the way, this is the stainless shield. They make an aluminum one as well, and this comes with some great instructions and all the hardware here that you'll need. Also comes with a little riv nut tool that they made, which is great. Now, they do not recommend using power tools when putting this on. The tools required are protective gloves and eyewear. You'll also need a 14 and a 10 millimeter wrench or you can also use a socket on that. I'm just using these little ratcheting wrenches and you need a quarter inch bit driver. I'm just going to use this ratchet here with this quarter inch magnetic bit holder. And the instructions are very clear and they show you exactly what to do. So let's start with A, install the rivet nuts and it's showing you on the diagram exactly where those need to go along this transmission cross member. It looks like we just need to do two. So let's go ahead and do that first. These are the two holes that we need to install the rivet nuts in. All we have to do is just put that in, push that through the hole and take the 14 millimeter wrench and hold that steady. Make sure that it's pressed in. And then I'm gonna use this 10 millimeter ratcheting wrench to tighten that down. All right, and then you'll feel it bottom out and then you can just back this out. And there it is, rivet nut installed. You can do the next one here, just get the rivet nut started on the rivet nut tool and just put it in over here and repeat the same process here. All right, as soon as you feel that bottom out, Back out the rivnut tool. Done. Rivnuts are installed. All right, the next step is to attach the wings here to the main shield, and there's eight little screws to do that. Now, it's pretty obvious where this should go. What you can do is take a look at the louvers here. These are directional, so the airflow goes back. Just make sure that those louvers match. Obviously, the parts here, which are threaded, those are gonna be on the top, just like this. Also, the Miller Cat logo right down here should be facing down or facing the ground. Now they say to use this Vibratite thread locker on all of the fasteners on this shield. Just need a, a few drops on each one. Now, since I'm using a tailgate, I'm just gonna set this up here on the end, right on the top so that I can put the hardware in from below and tighten it up. And then take the M8 security bit. We'll tighten that up. Now it's very important that you don't get too carried away when you tighten these down. These should be anywhere from 80 to 100 inch pounds and then the M6 are 60 to 80 inch pounds. You know, I'm really just going by feel. If you're really nervous or concerned about that, you can use a little mini torque wrench with inch pounds, but just make it snug. Don't strip out any of the fasteners. Let's go ahead and turn this around and put the other side on. I'm just gonna put some of this thread lock on now, make sure we're covered. Also the two smaller bolts for the back. I just wanna go ahead and just put the thread locker on this now. All right, now we're ready to take all this stuff down underneath and we'll get it set up to install the shield. Now this would be easier if you had a helper or you can also use a floor jack to hold the shield up. I'm just grabbing this little plastic file cabinet. It's like a little plastic tote or plastic box and it works great to hold the shield up in place while we get it started. right about there. So let's go to the front and we'll get the front two started first with the nut plates and I'll show you where those go. All right, so here at the front of the shield, this is the hole that we're going through on this side and this one on this side. And this is the little nut plate. There's a hole right up there. And all we're doing right now is just getting these started. And try to line that up with that upper nut plate. There we go. You can almost just feel up there until you feel the bolt and get it started. And then that will hold it. So now the front two are started and we can go put the back ones in. The back ones go through this little hole right here. So just feed that up through. Okay, and then we'll go do the other side. Perfect. All right, and then the two in the back here are the M6, but just note that they do get a little fender washer underneath. Pretty easy to line those up. As long as you get those rivet nuts in nice and straight. Same with the one over here. All right, now that we have everything started, we can just go through and tighten them all down. Now you may have to put your hand on the top to make sure that the nut plates don't spin. It seems like there's enough friction there where we can just tighten this and the nut plate does not spin at all. 
All right, now we need to tighten the two at the back here and we need to change out the bit to the smaller M6 bit. All right, and that's it. We're done. This thing is installed and ready to go. I'll tell you, this uh, this actually feels really heavy duty. I'm impressed with the overall quality, the material. I would definitely pick this up. If you got a Tundra, you know that you are going to be targeted for your catalytic converters. If a thief rolls underneath here and sees that the converters are really blocked by this shield, I would imagine they would just go elsewhere. They're really not going to fuss with this. It's going to take them a lot longer to figure this out or figure out how to take the shield off or start to cut it. And of course, it's going to make a lot of noise. I mean, the cost on replacing these is thousands of dollars just dealing with the hassle, the headache, the insurance, and even just going out and starting your truck and having, you know, having that open exhaust. I mean, it's just, it's so deflating, so upsetting. Hopefully this will go away someday, but uh, it doesn't seem to be slowing down anytime soon. It's getting harder and harder to find the OEM converters and they're extremely expensive. So just to not have to deal with that hassle, it's completely worth it to me to put these shields on. There's already several videos online showing that these do work where people will roll up and they'll look underneath the vehicle. And as soon as they see that the Miller Cat, Cat Shield is there they will move on now this is fully removable if you ever need to do any kind of service on the transmission or anything like that make sure you put those security bits in a safe place so if you ever have to take that off in the future you can do that i hope you like the video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you don't mind that does help me out thanks to miller cat for sending this to me i am impressed with the overall quality this is made in the usa by the way now miller cat was nice enough to give me a coupon code for all of my viewers and i'll put that in the description here also up here on the screen that you can enter in and get a little discount thanks so much for watching and good luck